Welcome. In this video, we are going to see about threading texts. Here, I have two text frames. One containing text, another one is empty. I select this text frame. In the lower right corner, here you can see a little red box with the plus sign. The plus sign indicates the text frame is overset. It containing more text into it. In this case, I want to text flow into this empty frame. It's called threading. You thread one text frame to another. Once you select the text frame with the selection tool, you can see a little square on upper left corner as the same as the lower right corner. These are the ports. This is input and this is output. All the text flow in into the input in your left side as well as all the text flow out from the output in your right side. In order to make a threaded text, I click this output once. Now the cursor changed with the chain and the text frame. Now I click this empty text frame once. Okay. Successfully I placed the extra text this frame to empty frame. Now visually you can't see any link between this text frame. Now I go to view menu. Here I choose extras. In the sub menu, I choose show text threads. Now you can see the text thread one frame to another. But still, I have an overset marker here because the text frame containing more texts. I click this overset icon once. Now the text loaded again. This time I create a new text frame here. And I release my mouse button. More text placed here with the threaded text. Also, you can break the link. Click this input once. The text loaded again and you click the frame itself. The link is gone. Now, the text frame still the overset marker. Thank you for watching. I will meet you the next lesson.